Hey, what's going on? It's your man Bo coming back to you with another video. This video is how to outline text in Lightburn. For those of you that don't know, Lightburn is a software that is used for laser engravers and laser cutters. It's probably the best uh, laser engraver cutter um, software on the market. The link to Lightburn will be in the description if you guys want to check that out. There is a cost for it, but there is a free trial version. Um, it's a great program. Lightburn, it, uh, it can be used like Inkscape in some ways. Um, you can There's shape tools, there's text tools, there's um, joining of shapes and separating of shapes. There's a lot of things available, but this is mostly for laser engravers and cutters. And cutters. So let's get into the video. First, we're going to... Um, go down I'm going to click the uh, create text button here and then we're going to just click get us a cursor going and then you just want to type whatever text it is you want I'm just going to do outline the word and then I'm just going to hit the scroll mouse scroll up just to enlarge it a little bit so you guys can see what's going on next what we want to do is hit alt o sorry we need to click off of it first and then we're going to click alt o alt and then click the uh, hit the o button and as you see um, here it's the offset and what we can do here is we can offset outward inward or we can do two different outsets and what we're going to do is I'm going to move this out of the way so you can see and you can make just like in Inkscape, um, you can make the uh, bevel edges, the round corners, or the um, three six. I'm sorry, the nine degree corners. So what we're going to do is with this outline, it's selected, and you can tell selected because the dotted lines are moving. The uh, they call them ants. So and then here with the offset distance, we can offset, choose how much offset we get. So to do. Um, an offset on the outside of the letters meaning out here we're going to click the out make sure outward is selected and then we're just going to go to the distance and you want to basically mostly be using um, the decimals so after the zero you don't want to go into one or higher usually and I'm just going to try just maybe four and see what that does and see how that's a little bit too big so we're going to try two that's kind of big too and let's see let's try one there it is one and then this gives you your your perfect outline of your shape or of your um your words and let's see what it looks like if we go down and click inward it puts the outline on the inside and so that we can see that better we'll probably need to shrink that down so in front of this the one will have to go maybe let's try zero one and it's a little probably too much um say zero two there it goes a little bit larger as you can see the dotted line is where your line that's your original text and the shaded line is that's your that that's your new offset and we could also do point zero three we can also do that distance on both. If we click both, it'll make it on both the inside and the outside. As you can see, the dotted line in the middle, and it's the, there's, there's an outline on the outside, one on the inside, equal distance from each other. So that gives it, and you, once you're set with that, just click OK. So that gives you a nice text effect. If you guys wanted to use that, and again, since this is a laser cutting program, each of these lines will be cut or engraved depending on how you select them um, using these color codes to choose whether you want engraving or whether you want cutting or you can choose both. But yeah guys that's um, the program Lightburn it's an awesome program if you guys got any value out of this video please subscribe to the channel hit the like thumbs up button so that I can keep making these videos 
uh, been gone for a while, but I'm trying to come back and do videos. But I need inspiration and motivation from you guys or else it doesn't work for me. So if I don't get the feedback, then I, I don't have the motivation to do the videos. I'm always working. I'm just not always recording. So that's all I have to say, guys. That, that's That's it. Thank you for those that check out the video, those that like these videos I do. I'll, I'll keep putting them out. Just like, comment, subscribe. See you on the next one.